All right, everybody. Got me a new pen and data. Ultra fine. Sharpie. My other one died on me. I just can't remember which one it is. Either this or that. And I don't remember which one it is. So we're going to go until I figure out which one. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I've done a light sketch with an old cheap Crayola gray pencil. And I'm gonna go across that right there with my my pen, and I hope I don't mess it up because this took me like I don't know 30 minutes to draw that. And that's my brother. And he's pointing his 45 at me, like straight through the paper. So we're gonna see how this turns out. All right, let's go. Let's get on after it. And I'm gonna be turning this paper all kind of ways to get it right, but let's go. Anyhow, I have a link to his channel in the description. In case some of y'all that ain't already subscribed to him, he sent some of his subscribers or asked them to come look at my channel and all I do is draw and play around. Well, he takes everything serious with guns and everything. And uh, that's alright. We're different in them ways. I like to try to draw the stuff and he's the real deal. And uh but we're all in a way the same. We both love this country and uh the freedoms that we got. And he shows support for the constitution and all that and the Bill of Rights and all that, Second Amendment by his uh love of firearms and survival and all that and camouflage and politics and I keep up with some politics and all that and he's also a truck driver and he's got trucking videos on his uh, channel if y'all want to check him out I'll leave his like I said I'll leave a link there and uh, y'all go check his channel out same time y'all checking out mine if you know y'all got time or whatever and he's super serious and I try to goof off on I got gaming I'm a big old video game nerd also so I do that but I like vehicles and trucks and cars and I got a a little review of my car I got a two L on but right now I've been trying to get back into drawing these last little while uh I might do his eyes at last because that's going to show me if I cannot mess that up whatsoever. I'm already trying to dread it a little bit. And the gun, I'll do that gun last. Anyway, he's a big champion of uh, the 45. Well, more, let me correct myself, the M1911. And he's got a big old series on that. Playlist I've written your caught if you want to caught that. He also uh, is a big proponent of the M14 because of the knockdown power it's got compared to like the AR15 and the ultra reliability. That after doing a lot of research, he's found out that even Navy SEALs up to the today still use it somewhat. You know, I know they got bigger stuff out there that can knock down people, but. They still, some of them use it, and I imagine the Green Berets and the Rangers. And now uh, they're bringing back the, the Marine Raiders from World War II. Those are some bad cats. Uh, and they served all in the Pacific Theater of World War II with our guys. And uh, them guys right here, they kind of back, and I heard a bunch of stuff how they kind of compared to each service and everything but I think if you ask them that now <laughs> the army or you know the navy seals or whatever they compare them to them because from what I'm you know reading online or whatever uh, they some bad boys they go in there and take care of business you know go ahead and get on out of dodge uh, which is in my book you know you got to have some hard tails in service is straight up ruthless. 
I'm sorry. They they got to be ruthless. Because guess what? That's you know that's what the enemy does. So we got to be ruthless right back. So you know don't give them no slack. You know. Uh. Now I like Trump. You know I think some people think he's crazy, but he loves our military. You know he gonna, I think he's gonna take care of our guys when they you know go down range like the Navy Seals say. Uh, when I head out down range or whatever, I got that off that movie, that, that last Navy Seal movie. I liked it. I love all military movies that ain't goofy or stupid or make fun of the military. But you know, these last few military movies are really, really good. Both Navy Seal movies. I just can't remember names on right now. Might be two or three of them. I don't remember. Anyhow, uh, getting back to my drawing. Yeah, his, his name is Mac Daddy, nineteen eleven eighty one. Uh, he's got trucking videos. He used to own his own truck, and it was a Bulldog Mac. He said that's the toughest trucks on the planet. Well, you, you figure they make dump trucks and all that's all kind of stuff, and that's true because every dump truck around where I live is a, a Mac of some kind. So I reckon they know what they're talking about when they uh, testing them bad boys out. Can y'all see that? I hope y'all can. He told me, he said, well, when you start drawing back last year, he said you were talking and everything. He says, put some of that dog on talking back in it. Maybe you get people to watch longer in a minute or two. <laughs> That's basically what's going on. Somebody might watch a, a minute or two and they, they'll leave because I speeded up and keep music on. Well, I'm, I'm starting to run out of music to put in it. And, uh... Uh, so I need to start talking a little bit more, he said. I said, all right, I, I, I'll go back and do that, I reckon. Maybe I won't wear y'all's ears out. And some of y'all might say, good Lord, where does this cat come from the way he talked? Well, South Georgia, baby. You know, that's it. Lot, lot. And, you know, I served this great country, and I was blind as a bat. So when, when I went in, uh... The only ones that would take me was the Navy, and of course I wasn't no SEAL material or anything, but you know, I did serve this country, you know, and I was forward deployed. I was, you know, based over there in Japan, and I've been to the Mediterranean, and can y'all see that? Now yeah, that's good. You know, I've been around the world. Uh, the only thing that stopped me from going completely around the world, believe it or not, was the Red Sea, which is on the west side of, uh, uh, Saudi Arabia, but everywhere else I've been around the world. So, yeah, I've seen some crazy stuff, and, you know, uh, some good, some bad. Uh, I ain't gonna talk about the bad experiences I did see in the military, you know, people getting hurt, whatever, but, you know, that's a dangerous job. You know, people do, you know, I hate to say it, you know, some of them might not make it back home. And if, you know, when they left, they was all right. You know, some of them might uh, have a misfortune of, you know, ended up on the wrong end of the stick, if you if you want to say that. Uh, so, you know, it's just a written look at the draw, really. And I reckon, like they say, you know, if it's your time, it's your time. So, ain't you no know, use to fight it. So, I don't, you know, I don't know about that, but. I'm going to try to stay as long as I can. I don't know about y'all. But uh, getting back to this, yeah. I used to do this all in high school, yeah. Draw, dibble, dabble. You know, some people say I can draw. Some people say I can't. But, you know, in the end, if you ain't having fun or, you know, whatnot, maybe it ain't for a job or whatever. But uh, now this right here, I got to be real careful. I'll be boogering this up with this old pen, but... I like the pen because it kind of, kind of brings out the, yeah, it kind of brings it out, I think. I could be wrong, but not that fingernail I messed up, so I can't go back on it. But it makes me uh, think twice where I write something down on it. And, uh, yeah, back in high school, I used to love doing this, and everybody thought I was going to get a job doing this. I wish I stayed in it. You know, I think I was pretty good back then. Uh, I got a long way to catch up. Uh, that's definitely sure because I, I used to be pretty squared away back in school. Uh, yeah, I got to be real careful right through there. So 
I forget to talk. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can y'all see that? Yeah, I'm gonna finish these hands right here. Uh, now, I've been making these other drawing videos lately, and everybody, you know, I ain't, I put, like I said, I put the music to it, and all of a sudden I'm gonna start talking, and everybody can say, Good Lord, is he drunk? Is he high or something? I used to be a drunk, or what are you gonna call? I don't call myself a drunk. I, 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 people say I, I need to say that, but you know what? I gave it up the second day of January. I gave it up, and uh, so next next Tuesday will actually be eight weeks. But I might just go all the way to the first weekend I'm off work, or the first week I'm off work. I work the weekend shift, so the first week I'm off work, I might say, yeah. I'm sober and uh, that's a good thing. And uh, smoke free, yeah, I was smoking too. You know, kind of learned them bad habits. Not all in the military, but you know, it, when everybody else in the grandma was doing, hey, like everybody in the grandma, but that's just the saying we got around here down south. Uh, when everybody else is doing it, you know, you just kind of follow along in it. And you, for the most part, that's true. You know, these fingers right here. He, gonna, he wanted me to try to draw this picture he sent me. Uh, maybe I'll get it pretty good. Or decent anyway. They don't make them look too, too, too old, eh? Yeah, and when you put the music to it, cause I, I still ain't, I need to get around to finding a better uh, video editor. I still use YouTube, and so I don't edit anything, whatever happens, happens. <laughs> But, you know, I want to do a little bit more stuff than maybe just right here, just drawing. Because eventually I'm going to go out and get another truck. Maybe I'll do a series on the trucks and everything. You know, uh, I think that looks pretty good. What y'all think? Can y'all see that? That thing's all but wide open. Let's see right here. Oh, that's pretty good so far, though. Yeah. Yeah, the tricky part. It's gonna be the uh, the eyes. So I'm gonna do that last, and maybe, maybe I'm gonna mess it up. See, that's the that's the back of the finger as the gun. Right, right here is right on top of his nose, right beside the gun. Side of the gun right here. I gotta be real careful right here, so I'm kind of scared to mess it up. I mean, it's gonna be easy to mess it up. Don't even know if I should mess with the beard, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh well. Well, you might hear the choo choo train come by the house. I live uh, a few blocks from the old train coming by the house. I get kind of loud, but I've been living here now like nine years almost, so. I just filled in a little bit like that. Not, not nothing too tacky. I don't want to make it too obvious. Uh, let me get that right here. I'm getting scared to fill it in. Closer I get, I'm getting scared. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I bought these pins at Walmart a while ago. I got, got. A four pack of them and another four pack of a different kind. These are the ultra fine. The other ones are fine. So I'm thinking once I learn how to combine them, I'll use these to draw. Maybe the other ones to uh, shade. And then I got another one. Let's see. Brush tip right here. So you can see the different tips. And I can maybe shade with that, but I bleed, bleed through the paper. I had to test it. Not on a, a, a good drawing like this, because it took me a while to draw this. Anyway, let me get back to this, right? Yeah, I got to get back to this right here. I'll be talking myself out of an audience if I got one still watching this, huh? My brother said, well, you just do what you can do, and I will go from there. So I said, all right, now. Don't be pedoed if it ain't perfect. But he knows it ain't draw. We all used to draw when we were kids, but I think every kid, you know, well, maybe not nowadays, but back in the day, we all draw, I mean, it's like a a daily thing we was doing, you know. We'd get home from school. Of course, everybody now has got 
all this technology. We had some, you know, some kids might have had a computer, but it ain't nothing like it is today. And see that right here is how's hand is wrapping around the back side of the gun right there. So that top of his finger right there, wrapping around it, and that's his thumb up here. And then the, his left thumb in his hand. And see his right hand was left yeah, his left hand's going across his other hand right here. So this is his right hand behind it and I'm, I'm got to get these knuckles just right. And I'll show you the picture in a little while after we get done with this of uh, how it turned out right here. That's a sweatshirt. I'm like, let's do some little lines right here to make it look a little lifelike. I might color that in a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I spent five years in the military. Yeah, five, five whole years, yeah. I'll just put a little shade right here so it make it warm. Uh, not stuck to his hands. Huh? What y'all think about that? Uh, yeah, now he real big. NRA and all that. I mean, there ain't nothing wrong with that, are you? No. He goes into debt about all that stuff. You know, the politics of owning a gun and everything. And there's some crooked people trying to take our guns. And these, you know, these foreign countries, if you do your own research, the people, once people lose guns, you know, everyone on countries, once they lose their guns, the crime rate goes up. So what's that tell you? Don't lose your guns. All right. Let's see. I'll I'll do the gun first, the front of it, and then do the eyes. I'm scared to mess the eyes up, but that's what we're gonna do right here. I can't see all the detail because how the flash, when he had the picture took and the flash hit the front of the gun and part of his face right there, but I see his face, but some of the detail of the gun, I don't exactly have an idea, so I'm just kind of guessing at it. And this is the part I'm really scared to mess up right here. I don't know. I ain't too bad at it. What y'all think? I'm looking pretty good. Woo! I don't know about these sides. I'm, I'll go ahead and do this side right here. Huh? I still got to do the, the pupil. Well, hang on, I'll do that last. It's right here, the, the gun sights and his eye. I want to show you on the picture, his eye actually sits inside the gun sight. And, man, I don't know. Let's see. Huh? 
get the pupils to go. I can do this. Um, I had to take a breath. <laughs> I held my breath as I as I cut her in or doing the circle. That's the hardest part, and this right here is gonna make me or break me now. Refrigerator. That's it. That is it. Let's say I got the pushes it. Do his eyebrows. Try to do his eyebrows. That's it. Now I just uh, touch his beard up a little bit. Now, I didn't think I was going to do any that good on this. I thought I really was going to mess it up, really. Let's see. Right, up, right around this. <laughs> yep. Anyhow, I'm about done with it. Thank God. I tell you, I thought I was going to mess it up. I mean, I still got to learn it. I ain't exactly perfect, perfect. But hey, looking pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, boy. I think before I mess it up anymore, I think that might be it right there. What y'all think? I think it. I think this is it. Get that colored in that needs to be colored in. I will color his hair in, but I'm scared I'll mess it up. So I'm gonna leave it just like that. And we'll let uh, y'all get a look at the That's it right here. That looks pretty good, it's the old 45s. He looking dead at you, buddy. I'll put it right there on you. That looks pretty good on him. I'm impressed. Shoot. I've never done a drawing with somebody holding a 45 M1911 draw down on you. Huh? That looks pretty doggone good. I'm happy. Do y'all think it looks good? Let me know in the comments, please. Now, let's look at the old picture I'm going after. Huh? There he is right there, Mac Daddy, 1911 a My old brother, he lives in North Georgia. I live in South Georgia. We grew up in the South, but he got a job at the North. So he moved on up in there, truck driving. Anyway, he's flatbed and he does a bunch of videos on flatbed trucking. Y'all to check that out. I'll put his channel link in the description. 
Not yet. Check my channel out. It's a hard work. It's fun. It's hard because I'm so scared I mess this up. It does look like I'm doing it. What y'all think? I think it does. That's pretty good. I ain't drawn since high school. I done a little bit last year for about two weeks. Fell off the horse. Started drinking again. I quit about two months and I was drawing and all that. I quit that mess for good this time. Drinking, smoking all up. And I sure enough couldn't have done his eyes. Now you can see, actually see his bullet in his gun right here. You see it right here? That 45 will come across your head. <laughs> I didn't know how to do that right now with my old pens. I might should have done it with a pencil, but I like trying this pen stuff. It's interesting. It's like, well, it's kind of stressful too, because you mess up. That's it. Anyhow, I think I've done good. Thank you for watching, and y'all have a good day, and check his channel out. Look at my channel. You don't mind for like what you see. Subscribe to both of our channels. Give me something to work on. I said, well, I'm getting more subscribers. I need to tighten up and make more content, don't I? I don't want to do other stuff besides drawing. Like I said, you can check it out. I got all kinds of other stuff in there talking. Inspirational talking about me quitting drinking and smoking. Check it out. Tell me what you think about it. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you think the drawing come out good. Ink work, baby. Thank you for watching. All right. Goodbye.